For number 13, here's something you probably wouldn't believe. You can do this impossible looking question without ever putting pencil to paper if you understand polynomial long division. So I came up with this example right here to demonstrate. How we do long division is we ask this times what equals this. Well, 2x times x would equal 2x squared. And that's the only part of polynomial division we need to be able to figure this question out. Because guess what? We can tell that this whole numerator is being divided by x minus 2, and they already gave us the answer. Well, I have that illustrated down here. So that process of 2x times x equals 2x squared, we're just going to do that a little differently here. We know that ax times negative 8x has to equal 24x squared. Well, in that case, negative 8x times what x would equal 24? Well, it'd have to be negative 3x, because negative 3x times negative 8x is positive 24x squared. So what's the answer for a in this case? Well, it's just negative 3, which makes the answer b.